Hi guys, I've been um, messing about with Refined. Maybe you've seen that the Arch ISO has a new package, well, new update, and Refined is in there. So there's the choice if you want to have Grub or Refined in Arch Linux, Arch way of installing things. So I'll just summarize everything that I've learned into a video. So I'll remember it for later on because basically it's... Um, not that easy this is grub right and grub is nice it's it's but it's not graphical and refined i've used it like years ago when i had it uh, i needed it for for mac at some point in time i had mac os systems at home and then you could actually choose a nice pop-up say okay you want this you have that and you choose the way um, let's go to over the motions, right? So grub is by default and how to get to, from the default grub to refined. Now minus S refined is there now. And refined install creates a folder inside the boot, slash boot refined and so on. Here you see the URL at the bottom. That's one thing. I'm going inside this boot thing, boot. So EFI, EFI, stop, LS. Now we have a folder called refined, CD refined. I'm gonna go and will I do it in one time? I'll do it in two times. So I'll show you the ugly looking icons of refined. I hope that the maintainers hear me and just create a beautiful theme because the work deserves a beautiful theme so that everybody says, wow, refine, right? So I'll download a theme later on, but I've been trying so many things, doing so many things, and basically you get stuck. You guys just get stuck because it's so intertwined into each other let me find me my screen again because I'm recording number one. There it is. Um, so if you get stuck, then there's no fun. There is an intermediary kind of thing that I found. And um, well, maybe we should just reboot first. Yeah, educational reboot. Okay. This is refined. You like it or you hate it, but this is what you greet it with. Those are the icons. I press enter. And what do I get? Grub. I don't want to have grub behind the other thing. But removing grub is, seems not to be that tricky on Ubuntu, whatever. I've read so many things in this afternoon. So the best thing for me, my choice, right? Choice is all, all about, Linux is all about making choices, what to install, what to do, what to change. I thought, why do I not install the grub file? Grub timeout zero, since refind is going to boot me up and not grub anymore. I'm just gonna say grub timeout. Now there was another line I found online, something I could add and type underneath here, but this is my what if of the moment. What if I forget all about that and just say grub timeout zero. And then update grub, of course. We need to make sure that the... Ah, yeah. Update grub is an alias that we use. So you go to Arclinux and you type alias update grub. And then you know that. It's actually a sudo grub make configuration minus o slash root grub and grub dot cfg if that's regenerated we're gonna sudo reboot does not exist sudo reboot like this not sr we got this enter no grub to be seen so i don't need the extra line to say forget about um, grub now design wise there is so many nice things out there and i've put some on my own personal 
personal GitHub. So I forked the things I found just for, for fun to have a later reference that that was working and that was okay, right? So CD boot and then EFI refine stop ls cd so make directory themes and of course i need to be in control sudo make directory themes and we're in now we go inside themes and here we say sudo pacman minus s git because git is not yet installed and then let's do a clear git clone and then https double point github.com slash eric dubois slash one of the guys that i liked was ursa Mayer. r r efi find could not create permission denied sudo Okay, that's in there. CD sudo nano refine.config. And at the very end, so I'll type the text includes the themes folder we created and the theme name that we have. Ursa Mayer, yeah. R E F I and and then slash theme dot com so in there is a theme for x yes please sudo reboot i don't think i need to install refine to install again it's just gonna be voila a beautiful and if you want to have other um, icons i'm not gonna go that way but other icons will show up like uh, ubuntu and all that maybe it's best I show you what I've copy pasted here on my other screen. Can I show you this or not? Um, I'm gonna put this to control C, but then I'm gonna kill this thing by close. So it's a kind of workaround. It's not really removing anything no moving drop or anything like that but these are some of the icons that it's, it includes and here are all the icons so as os arch center os core os debian docker elementary fedora flatpak gen 2 they're all there right except ours but that doesn't matter because i'm not going to develop this thing just wanted to keep track of what i've learned today and um, and share it and never say never right who knows in a few years that I say, okay, why not go for a refine? The only thing is the beauty, right? The beauty of it all. It's nice. It's um, a clean theme here that we have, but there are other themes. There are other things that I've, um, I've found online. Let's see another thing or just um, look for it because there is so much more. We can actually show you here. Uh, and then repositories refined so that's the thing if you find something nice you can fork things it's just a little button up here somewhere we can fork here it is fork and it comes to your github and it you still find it later on so this is another one not this one don't like this one but i do like this one if we would uh, be greeted like this boot arch links with the fi system partition or windows it's actually a nice looking thing and there was another one which was all white icons like the sardi ghost icons so yes it's themable and in that respect i say okay I like that voila refined a find <laughs> all right cheers